let me answer my second question that i have raised how to calculate uh, 1000 point double zero three whole power 1 by 3 how to solve such type of problems before going to solve that problem let us understand these examples it is 1.1 1 .1 is greater than 1 if you square it 1.21 if you cube 1.331 to the power 4 1.4641 what you have observed the number is greater than 1 by increasing the power the value is going on increasing if i take 0 0.9 if you square it it is 0 0.81 that is less than 0 0.9 if you cube 0 0.729 the value is going on decreasing that means if x is greater than 1 x square value and x cube value x power 4 value those values are going on increasing if x is less than 1 x square value again decreases and x cube value again less x power 4 value is again lesser suppose if i take 0 0.001 is the number and if you square it what you are going to get 0 0.00001 it is very less value and we can neglect it that means if i take x as if i take x as 0 0.001 x square value is again very less and you can neglect it and x cube value again after uh, eight zeros you will be getting one that means again less so you can neglect the higher order terms when x is very much less than 1 and you can neglect we can neglect higher order terms we can neglect higher order terms now let us see suppose if x is very much less than 1 i already told you this is exact expansion and approximation is if x is very much less than 1 and we can neglect higher order terms that means 1 plus x whole power n can be written as 1 plus nx that's all it is not exact 100 percent but approximately it is correct because we are neglecting some higher order terms so we are losing some answer it is 1 plus nx so in the same way i am going to solve the, this problem 1000.003 whole power 1 by 3 i can write it as 1000 plus 0 0.003 whole power 1 by 3 and if i take 1000 common 1000 power 1 by 3 into 1 plus 0 0.003 by 1000 whole power 1 by 3 and now 1000 power 3 is power 1 by 3 is 10 into 1 plus uh, this value is very much less so x is very much less than 1 that's why i can write 1 plus nx where n is 1 by 3 1 plus n is 1 by 3 into x is this total term 0 0.003 by 1000. so you'll be getting 10 into 1 plus 0 0.001 by 1000 and you multiply 10 plus 0 0.01 by 1000 that is equal to 10 plus 0 
zero 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 one. That is equal to ten point zero 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 one. This is what we can do only with the help of binomial theorem. And this second part exclusively when x value is very much less than one. So by neglecting higher order terms, we are going to solve the problem approximately not 100% correct.